good morning. I have a question for you. When is a shoe not a shoe? No, it's not like the riddle that when is a door not a door when it's a jar? No, it's not a riddle like that, but it's even better. <laughs> Good morning, it's Adria. Adria Firestone, the author of You Are the Artist of Your Life. And as always, the most surprising things happen when you just allow. I told you it's my, my, my scariest word. Me? Allow? Allow something? No, that means I have no control. Yeah, exactly. So just allowing life, getting ready to go and be a substitute teacher this morning, which to me is not being a teacher. I'm being a policeman, which doesn't really suit me. But anyway, I will be there. I will do my best with all my heart. But what I learned this morning was extraordinary, that a shoe is not a shoe. Well, you see, I'm living with an extraordinary teacher, a teacher who has four feet, beautiful fur, and the, the most querulous little high-pitched voice. So my little black cat, every time I go to put on my sneakers, is obsessed with the laces. She thinks laces are just the most fascinating thing in the world. And she will pounce upon them. Well, it's very hard to tie a shoe <laughs> when you have this energetic little cat pouncing on you. But suddenly this morning, the epiphany arrived and I realized it was because I was mistaken. You see, I thought I was wearing shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing toys. Do you realize that? <laughs> Let that sink in. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing toys. And what if today you allowed yourself to think, I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing toys. If you're wearing toys, your attitude about everything changes. Your attitude about everything changes. So all is our perception after all, isn't it? Everything is perception. And I was reminded of Wayne Dyer's book, You'll See It When You Believe It. Not you'll believe it when you see it, but you'll see it when you believe it. I have proof <laughs> because I was swiped by a sharp little claw in earnest and serious and lighthearted play this morning as I was putting on my shoes and tying the laces to my sneakers. And she thought, ah, it's time to play. She wants to play because my shoes are not shoes. My shoes are toys. So I challenge you today and maybe for the rest of this week, can you, can you actually see it when you see it, you'll believe it that you're wearing not shoes, but toys. And were you to be wearing shoes, not shoes, but toys this week, how would your life change? How would your attitude change? How would you react to people? Would you have a secret smile on your face? Because no matter what's going on, you realize, well, I'm not wearing shoes. 
I'm wearing toys. <laughs> Darlings, that's my challenge to you. My challenge, and I'm going to read you a very brief bit of poetry by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. What if you slept? And what if in your sleep you dreamed? And what if in your dream you went to heaven and there plucked a strange and beautiful flower? And what if when you awoke you had the flower in your hand? Darlings, everything, everything is perception. Everything is perception. Everything is how we perceive something. And we are in control of our perception. So remember, that your sneakers aren't shoes and you're not wearing shoes. You're wearing toys. My challenge is act like it. <laughs> I dare you. All right, darlings, gotta run. But I had to share this because <laughs> it just woke me up and went, oh my goodness. I never thought of it that way, which just goes to show the minute you get out of this and into this, out of your head and into your heart, that your perception changes. So again, the challenge is, I dare you. Even for one day, even for just today, if all you can do is today and not the whole week, realize the reality, the truth, that you're not wearing shoes. You're wearing toys. See you later, alligator. <laughs>